everyone, it's Kenya Humphreys here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make one of these washable cotton masks with a crisp packet inside. So the reason why I'm making these masks today is uh, obviously there's been a virus going around called the coronavirus if you didn't already know which I'm guessing you would have. These masks are just to help prevent any sort of bacteria getting through which is why they have a crisp packet in and you can take the packet out, you can wash it in the washing machine, you can even put your own crisp packet in if you'd like to. I just know that it's better than nothing, better than just the material. So the reason why I'm making these masks today so that I can donate them to the NHS workers and help them out and the reason why I'm making this video today is so that hopefully you guys can recreate one of these masks for yourself or maybe donate them to the NHS workers too. So let's get into the video. You're going to need some scissors, a packet of crisps, your 20 by 40 piece of cotton material and a piece of elastic and of course a sewing machine. What we're going to do next is fold this piece of material over and inside out of course. Then you're going to get your iron and just quickly go over that, make sure it's all flat. And now that we've got this we're going to go over to the sewing machine. What we're going to do here is we're going to sew each side of the mask, and I'll just show you how you're going to do that now, on a straight line stitch, so a number one. I'm going to go about the middle of the foot here. And you're going to bar tack it. Making sure it's really strong. You want to cut these edges off on the machine or with a pair of scissors. I use the machine. Same thing on this side. So now that we've got both sides sewn together like that, what we want to do here is we want to just go about halfway in, leaving about an inch, an inch and a half gap here so you can fold the material inside out in a moment. Bar tackle again. And same on this side. So as you can see here, this is inside out and I've sewn here on a straight line stitch this side and on a straight line stitch I've sewn this side. The bottom side that's been turned over is just left, you don't have to do anything to that. And I've sewn halfway across this side and halfway across this side, leaving just enough of a gap, about an inch, so that I can turn it inside out. We'll turn it the other way. Now we're going to go back over it and iron it just really quickly like that. And next, we are going to put just the normal crisp packet on it. So we're going to go back over it. Now that has the crisp packet in it, what we're going to do, we are going to plique it here and go over it with the iron, making sure it's put down. You can do as many as you want, but I do usually about three. There we go, and now we're going to go over to the sewing machine and just sew them so they don't move. Right, so on a straight line stitch once again, as you can see it's all appliqued now, and we're going to go in just halfway where the foot is here, that little line there, and bar tack it. And same again on the other side. You want to take a piece of elastic, the average is about 14 inches, 15 inches, this one's 15 inches, so it fits my head. Some people may need it bigger, smaller, but obviously that just varies. About halfway across the mass you're going to put your elastic here and you can just sew straight over it. And as you can see, I just back tacked over it a few times so that it's nice and strong. Cutting these off. Now, make sure that the elastic doesn't twist for when you're doing the other side, otherwise you'll have a twisted mask, and I'm pretty sure nobody wants that. And do the exact same thing on this side. Like that. 
reasons. So guys, as you can see, here's the finished product and this is what it looks like from the other way. And this is what it looks like on. So guys, if you like this video, I would love it if you could like, comment and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.